I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be doing an infill and redesign on this set here. And yeah, that is pretty much it. We're just going to be doing a nice, simple infill and redesign. Nothing too over the top. But yeah, this is six weeks growth and I do not recommend six weeks to my clients. I usually recommend between... Um, I think I've had some clients at two weeks, but most clients I recommend between three to four weeks. So I've gone in and the client's hands are clean. I'm adding some sanitizer and then I'm coming in with my cuticle pusher. But I just wanted to show you this new tool here that we will be launching at glitterplanetuk.com. Um, I'll have the link down below for you guys if it has launched already. And if not, I will try and remember to add it in there. So I'm coming in with the outer space cuticle pusher and I'm just going to go ahead and push back all of the cuticles on each nail making sure that I do this thoroughly and evenly but with a light gentle pressure, nothing too hard, you don't want to start causing any issues for the client, if you do push too hard you can cause the nail folds to separate and this can allow bacteria to get in, also it can be quite painful so it's definitely important to do that gently and if your client's nails have got or cuticle area have hard skin can be sure to soften that gently with a manicure solution there are many on the market to look at I personally do not like using um, any kind of like solutions before applying acrylics so if um, a client's nails would need tidying up beforehand I'd always suggest a manicure before they come for the acrylic appointment just because I feel like having a manicure, you're adding a lot of moisture to the nail plate and that way you may cause problems for the set you're about to put on. So, just a little bit of advice, obviously it's completely up to you and if you do do any manicures beforehand, just make sure that you 1000% get your client to wash their hands, sanitise doubly, prime double and everything like that just to be on the safe side and make sure that there are no oils or extra oils on the nail plate that are going to cause any problems anyway moving on to the cuticle works so I'm coming in with my cuticle bit and this is one that I'm testing out for the website and I'm going around the natural nail growth area and just removing that extra growth of cuticle and dead skin on the nail plate and I do this on all 10 nails and then I'm coming in with my smooth top bit and all these drill bits that I'm using I am testing bits that I want to bring to the website so there's no links as of yet um, but I'm just removing my 3D work here Next I'm coming in with this extra, extra, extra coarse bit and all of the bits as well that I do bring to the website, they won't be in gold. I will probably have them in a colour or a silver, I'm not sure, but I do not like gold bits for some strange reason. I just do not like it, but this is just the samples that I have to test. So this extra coarse bit is used for removing the bulk of acrylic and designs and really bringing down the design layer to make that process easier and to make the whole set just a lot more faster and speed up that process of removing an old design so you can get on with applying your new set. I absolutely loved using this bit, it was incredible. So yeah, look out for that coming. I'm not sure when it's going to be but you guys know that I'm going to bring you so many amazing products. They just take a little bit of time. I've got to make sure that we are 100% happy with them and that they are absolutely perfect which is why you'll see me testing a lot of products out and using them in my videos prior to actually bringing them to you guys. So I'm just going to remove the design and then I'll be back to refine the nail shape. So 
So next I'm coming in with the nail files from Glitter Planet and these are available in a packet of five and they are 100, 180 grit. And I'm just coming in and making sure to blend that existing acrylic into the natural nail, removing any small amounts of lifting that there are. There's only a tiny little bit, but it's important and vital that you do remove that before going in and applying your fresh acrylic. The importance it is because if you don't remove it, you may well leave an air pocket no matter how small that is if there is a little bit of moisture trapped in there or a little bit of dirt or bacteria or just anything it can cause problems it will cause bacteria to grow it will cause infections and problems lifting even discomfort for your clients so it's important that you do remove the lifting so next I'm coming in with the primer and this is from our system. We again are not bringing this out yet. All I can let you know is that it will be 2018. So this year, as soon as it launches, you guys will know. You guys will know, like seriously. And this is our brush. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It's bomb.com. Let us fuck. You guys know that. And also this is one of our shades of nude acrylic as well. I absolutely loved it. It is gorgeous and stunning and the shades that I've chosen literally are so gorgeous. There are a wide variety of colours that I'm, we are going to be launching like first off. Also I left that bit in there because it was being a pain in the ass and I squashed it with my finger and brought it up again and sometimes we do these stupid little things that annoy us and mess everything up but you know you gotta get on with it there's sometimes where i've done a nail and i've sort of like messed it up and i'll just be like so annoyed that i'll just get one of my like scraper tools and scrape off the acrylic and just start again because i'm just like not today satan not today you know what i'm saying guys you know what i'm saying Anyway, so this is all I'm going to be doing for all of the nails. I'm just applying the nude nail bed colour, which is from GlitterPlanetUK.com, coming 2018. So keep updated with their social media to sort of like know when things are being released. And then I'm coming in with Hotline Bling, which is the silver. I'm coming in with Mike, which is the fine purple pink glitter. And then the chunky glitter is Rockstar. They all go stunningly together and this set was a bomb. So look how gorgeous that acrylic applies. It is seriously stunning. Also notice with my brush, it is a new brush. I broke the other one in that I used, as in like I used it a lot, pressed it, worked it, the bristles were softened and all that jazz. I will have videos for you guys telling you how I do that. And then my sister came around and I did her nails and... Um, I gave her my brush basically so I've started off again breaking a new brush in so if you do see some separation of the bristles that will not last long it will literally be for the first couple of uses maybe between two and four really good uses but you can do that without using it like that on a client if you sort of like just dip it in your mon monomer fan your brush out twizzle it around put it back into shape and you just keep doing that um, your bristles will become softer and more aligned and as one as such. It's basically just them all forming together, if that makes any sense. But I will do a full video on how I do that with my brushes anyway. I just like to use it on my clients and myself and I find that it just naturally takes the shape that I use it as, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I find that that's the best way to do it personally because when it splits in the middle to be honest it really doesn't affect me whatsoever and it's only now and then and all you have to do to rectify it is dip it in your monomer and wipe it on your paper towel again and it really that is it it puts it back to normal and then that's how you sort of break it in hopefully this is making sense I'm possibly just rambling on but I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of info because this set is just simple I can't really speak about the nails too much you know because I'm doing exactly the same th thing throughout the entire video um, so yeah I will be at Pro Beauty this weekend we'll have some special jumpers on so you'll be able to spot us and we'll have some goodie bags to give away the only um, tiny little goodie bags like but super cute you know so if you see us then please find us holla say hello and if we've got some goodie bags left then you can have one 
and if not then i'm so sorry don't feel disappointed because we are going to have a huge giveaway soon so that's exciting as well but yeah i can't wait to see some of you guys at pro beauty because i do know a couple of you are going so on the day just keep an eye on glitter planet's social media on instagram and facebook and also on mine as well because that's where i'll be sort of updating and telling you guys where i'm at what i'm doing and things like that and if we've got any goodie bags left of course because i know that's what you're there for mm -hmm. that's what i'd be there for to be honest <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stop rambling because I've just been talking real, probably nothingness, if that even is a word. And I'll let you guys watch the rest of this video and I'll be back in a while. Okay, so now I've finished applying all of the acrylic and glitter, I'm coming in with clear and I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate the entire set of nails and I'm going to make sure that I really seal it in at the cuticle area and then I will file buff and then I'll add some top coat. The top coat that I'm going to use in this video is Blue Sky No Wipe Top Coat and I'll leave the link where I get mine in the description box down below because I do know that there are some sort of like fake sellers um but i'll leave the links anyway for the legitimate ones that i know in the description box if you guys are interested in that top coat And you guys know that this is my favourite part ever because the glitters just literally pop and it just looks bomb. So I'm going in with that top coat and just look how stunning this set is. It really, really is super, super freaking gorgeous. I love it so much and I'm about to do mine this evening and it's Wednesday because... I'm just letting you guys know that I am recording this on Wednesday the 21st. So I'm going to do my nails tonight and I think I'm going to do like a galaxy theme purple blues and like rainbow glitters 
for the show and to match the branding of Glitter Planet because why the hell not, you know? So yes, this is me just applying the top coat and then I will be done and show you guys the finished result. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I know it was super rambly and I didn't stop talking. It felt like that I talked forever. But nevertheless, I hope you guys liked this set. Please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye! See you later, alligator! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back.